By the time you watch this video, we're going to be in the middle of uh, the week of July 4th, and it's time for us to celebrate our country's birthday, Independence Day, as we refer to it here in the United States. And what a privilege for us to be able to live in a country like this that God has obviously blessed over the years and through our history. I have a lot of people asking about the Christians' responsibility and relationship toward their country. Let me just say a couple of things about that, especially for those of us that are uh, Christians of America who are citizens here. First of all, we have a responsibility to participate in our government. Uh, our government, being a democracy, gives us the opportunity to be able to express our opinion through voting, uh, through other ways of participating. And I uh, just want to encourage you in that, especially in an election year like this, that you educate yourself on the issues and know what those are. And, and I always tell uh, people who ask me about this as a pastor, uh, listen, you uh, vote those issues out of a Christian worldview, which is what you should be learning every time you come to God's Word, whether it's through a sermon or it's in a small group or in your own personal Bible study. People say, why don't, why don't you talk more about politics and pulpit and that kind of thing, specifically for that reason. Uh, in many ways, everything we do from the pulpit is political, and that the believers should take those things, apply that to the issues that are uh, that, that are up for votes or the issues that are coming, coming forward out of our country, and know how to respond to all of those. There's no way any pastor or any person could, could actually address all of those issues. And so... Um, I would say learn biblical worldview, and out of that, both in your convictions as a believer, it's our responsibility. So I can't go so far as to say it's a sin not to vote, but I do think it's about as close as you get. So uh, let me encourage you to participate. Second, pray. Pray for your country. Uh, pray for, Scripture is very clear that God's people uh, are the ones that are responsible for coming before Him, pleading the case of our country in repentance and, uh, and in other ways. And so we begin there, but we also want to pray for our leadership. Second Timothy chapter 2, 1 Timothy chapter 2, uh, tells us that uh, we are to pray for those who are in authority over us, that we might uh, have a life of tranquility and, uh, uh, and to do so out of godliness and dignity. And so um, let me just encourage you, pray for not only the president, but pray for this upcoming election for the leaders that are going to be chosen, for the leaders that are in Congress, for local leaders, that, uh, that we would do the things that would honor God and, uh, and then vote uh, and participate. So as, uh, as we come up on our, on our celebration of our Independence Day, let me, uh, let me encourage you to be grateful, be thankful, yes. Uh, be diligent in learning all that you can about the issues. Vote out of a biblical worldview. Uh, spend time in prayer for your leaders in your country. And, uh, and yes, all of us pray that God would send a mighty revival in this nation and, uh, and turn us back to Him, which is far from where we are right now.